What is up guys, my name is Sarko Das and you guys are watching Graphics HD. So welcome back to another tutorial of this channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of dreamy black and white or dreamy dramatic black and white image in Photoshop. So without wasting time, let's jump into this video. What I'm going to do first is go to file and then select new and then choose the width and height i choose 1000 by 1000 and i leave the resolution at 72 select ok now go to this adjustment panel and then select this icon over here this half white and black circle select on it and click on it and select solid color and choose a dark black color or you can just copy this code 00000, 000 and then hit ok now take your render for this tutorial i'm going to use this render so drag this into our document like this and place it as you want i just leave it here like this one and then select and then hit ctrl u on your keyboard to desaturate it like this and then again go to this adjustment panel and then select curve and select anywhere on this curve line and drag it like this to add more contrast or more black on this center of this image and then select this point over here and move upward like this to add a little bit faded effect so i'm happy with this and now create another layer by clicking this icon over here and then select your brush tool and then choose the foreground color to white and paint like this or just single click once and now change the fill of this layer to 10 or 20 percent i'm just going to leave it in 19 percent and then hit ctrl p on our keyboard and resize it and as you want just like this and now duplicate this layer by hitting ctrl j on our keyboard and then change the fill to 10 percent like this so we create this highlight or this light and now create another layer and select your brush tool and change the foreground color to black and then paint black just like this as because the light hitting on this side of his face so i'm just paint black on his other side of face and now create another layer on top of your render layer then right click on it and select create clipping mask and then change the blending mode to soft light and select your brush tool and change the foreground color to white and and also change the flow to 10% uh, or 13% just like this and paint white on the highlighted part of your render just like this and then change the foreground color to black and paint black on the dark part of this face or dark part of the center shadow part of the center and again create another layer and then create and and right click on it and select create clip mask and then change the brush flow to 100 percent and select your brush tool and then change the foreground color to white and select a very small brush like this and paint white and paint white on the edges just like this 
so i just want to add more contrast on this render so i'm just going to select this icon over here and then choose curve and select this or click this icon over here to make it click mask and then drag this slider or drag this curve like this i think we should add hmm. like this yeah that's fine and now we just need to add the text so i'm just simply copy the text from this my original project and then place it or you can place this uh, text behind the render like this i think this is fine so yeah that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learn something new from this video so if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel then don't forget to hit the subscribe button on this channel